Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Squid Guide showing you how you can make the most money in GTA Online this week from April 30th until May 6th. First up, the special cargo is the name of the game because it is double the money on it. So if you don't already own one, then a, a CEO office or a special cargo warehouse might be worth the investment depending on how much you're planning on playing this week. The CEO office I do recommend is going to be Maze Bank West. It's only a million and there's plenty of warehouses around it to choose from. If you're looking to get the two cheapest large warehouses, then Cypress Flats and West Vinewood are going to be your best friend. For medium warehouses, this will be El Bureau Heights and Del Perro. To fill up a large warehouse, this will take you about 5 to 10 hours, depending on how fast you are and what kind of vehicles you have. If you have a buzzard, for example, you can spawn it from your CEO menu, or if you have an Oppressor Mark II, it will be even better. If you don't have the kind of funds for a large warehouse or a second warehouse, then owning a medium warehouse could also be a worthwhile investment. The ideal situation is that you're going to have two warehouses, whether that's two large ones or a combination of whatever, it doesn't really matter. The only goal we really have with this is eliminating the five minute cooldown for the next source mission. So if you don't have a second warehouse yet, consider getting one, as well as buying armor upgrades for your cell vehicles if you plan on on using the Heinemann cash bonus to make some extra money for simply selling in a populated lobby. Obviously, this is not without risk, so I'm gonna leave it up to you if you want to risk that. Selling a large warehouse this week will make you at least 3.8 million profit, thus also making all the money that you have invested into it immediately back and also turning a profit. The same will go for a medium warehouse. Obviously, you won't be making as much profit, but you'll still be making a good amount of money and also making your money back and making a profit. Now, having said this, it again really comes down to how much time you're going to be spending inside of the game this week. Having said all this, though, the warehouses inside of the game are always a very good investment to have either way. I know there's plenty of people out there who always go out of their way to make sure to have large warehouses prepared for the next double cash event and they happen pretty often so investing into uh, a warehouse right now is never a bad idea. They're not on discount, they were last week so if you happen to make use of that definitely go out there and start making some money. And of course if you have a terabyte make sure to use it to its fullest potential parking it near your warehouse and use that instead of going to your CEO office. Or if you happen to have an arcade with a master control terminal, you can use that instead of going to your CEO office to save yourself a couple of minutes too. If you don't own a terabyte or a master control terminal, then it might be worth investing into it for future endeavors. But it is going to cost you one to two million. So if you're looking to choose between the two this week, I'd say go with the terabyte. In either case, waiting for a sale on them is preferred. Everything this week will just come down to how much you're willing to spend making money this week. Having said that though, both the terabyte and the master control terminal are very nice quality of life items to have within your inventory. Especially the terabyte will be very handy this week because you can leave Literally just park it in front of your warehouse, just immediately walk up to it and do your next source mission. It will save you a bunch of time and as, as they always say, time is money. But if you don't want or can't get a second warehouse, then what you can do is you can do a quick VIP mission in between source missions. Your best options for this one are going to be Headhunter and also Hostile Takeover. And it will also make you about $20,000 in a few minutes thus making the money you spent on crates back right away. And as a side note, if you do get three crates instead of a van, then in my opinion it's better to destroy two crates and then take one with you, as it's much quicker than going back and forth for what only will be a loss of $12,000, which is in my opinion very neglectable when you're selling over three million. But if you're like myself and you don't like crates or simply don't have the money for it, then doing RC races, Easy Classic races or Hot Ring races will definitely be your best bet this week. If you want to have an even playing field when you don't own either of these vehicles or don't have them upgraded, then hosting your own lobby and turning off customs will be the way to go. In order to do this, you must first close matchmaking your options and then follow the what I'm doing on screen. 
When you do so, you can host your own lobby. In order to have people actually joining you though, you're gonna have to do a quick solo race or a race with a little less people in order to make your lobby active and have the game recognize it as such, thus allowing people to join. Non-contact might also be a good idea for those happy slappers in public lobbies, and aiming for 4 minutes a race to maximize profit is going to be desirable. This is about 2 or 3 laps. If you want to make sure how much time a race is going to take, a good indication of how long it will take is by simply checking the leaderboards of the race, which you can do by clicking the right bumper on your controller, or by pressing tab on PC. But with all that said and all that done, that was it for this one. I hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure to leave it a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.